There is a vast difference between those who approach the world with a genuine intellectual curiosity and those who don't. And it can be summed up in one word, growth. Curious people are growing people. As you embark on your journey of transition from being responsible for your own performance to being responsible for the performance of others, you are going to have to grow in a variety of ways. Cultivating a mindset of curiosity is the best way I know of to jumpstart that process of learning and growth. Think of curiosity as a high octane fuel. For that fuel to burn productively, you need an engine to pour it into that can transform its power into momentum. You'll need to build a machine in your mind. All of this internal mental effort is designed to do one thing, to get you out from behind the walls of a fixed mindset and put you into the swift currents of a growth mindset. If you identify your success as having the right answers, then you will make choices aimed at protecting that image. Defining success as being right leads you to avoid tackling difficult challenges and hearing contrary information. In the end, this path will leave you no different than you were when you started on it. You will be no stronger, no smarter, and no more capable. As a result, you will be ill-equipped to face the big task your position will inevitably demand of you. Don't let where you are now be the ceiling of your potential. Embrace the spirit of the mantra, becoming is better than being. When you say becoming is better than being and, and embracing curiosity, I think of a leader that was one of the most admirable folks I've ever been around named Jack Simpson, who was an aggressive questioner. And by that, I mean, we love to have him with our customers because Jack would lean forward, gulp in everything the customer is saying to him, give them back in the terms and form of checking questions what he was hearing, still listen intently, and at the end, he would give them back this beautiful buffet bar of everything they <laughs> just said in a way that really made them feel good. They felt respected, they felt listened to. So one thing I get out of that is, it can make you so much more effective with other people if you're aggressively curious. Mm -hmm. Now, I th and thinking about that, I think about the hundreds of podcasts you have done, yeah. and I wonder, is, is curiosity, again, a skill or a trait? What have you learned? Have you gotten better? Well, it's definitely a skill to be developed. I think this has taken, for me personally, taken time for me to mature because I wasn't necessarily that curious of a kid, right? I love playing sports. I love being outside and playing. Now I'm more into reading and learning from others. And so think about like the, the, the most interesting people in your life, the ones that you want to spend time around. They have this genuine curiosity about them where they're asking you thoughtful questions, wanting to get to know you, to understand you, to understand the way that you operate and the way that you think. As a leader, as a manager of a team, this is our job. This is what we're supposed to do is to get to know our people inside and out, know them personally and professionally because they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. We've heard that phrase before. I think that's why this is a critical part. And when I think about my podcast, as I've interviewed 350 plus of some of the most thoughtful leaders in the world, what keeps coming out for me is that the more I learn, I realize there's so much more to know and you never fully get there. And so you'll find that curiosity begets more curiosity. As your growth which creates more learning for you because you realize I'm excited about what I'm learning from all these fascinating people. I want to keep doing more of it. And that's why I would encourage you, once you start down this path, you'll notice you'll create momentum for yourself, which can be very powerful. And one exercise I like to do, and I've done it with you, and I've done it with many others in my life, is I like to say, interview your heroes with a curiosity mindset whether it's in person, on the phone, through email, which I have a really good exercise we'll share with you to do. But interview your heroes, ask thoughtful questions that forces them to really be thoughtful themselves so you can take what they've learned through their years of wisdom and put it into your game.